When was the last time you volunteered your time? Well, there's no time like the present since April is National Volunteer Month. And our Jessica Walter is at the Volunteer Center this morning with more on the Expo. Hey, Jessica. Julian, there certainly is no time better than the present. There's so many good opportunities right here in Fort Wayne. We're at the Volunteer Center right now with Ani. Tell me a little bit more about what the Volunteer Expo is. So the Volunteer Expo is like one-stop shopping for volunteering. It's an opportunity where individuals in the community can come and speak directly with over 55 nonprofit agencies who will be there today, lower level at Glenbrook by the food court, starting at three o'clock, and learn about what the organizations do, as well as how you can get engaged and volunteer and help our community. So it's from three to six today right. at Glenbrook, like you said. What if people can't make it out today? Where can they go? So year round, the Volunteer Center's mission is to connect individuals in the community with those organizations that need help in an effort to improve our communities for everybody. So they can go to our website, volunteerfortwayne.org. All our nonprofit partner organizations, over 126 of them, had their volunteer opportunities listed there. So that's a good first step to connect with. And then we have staff that's dedicated to helping individuals make those connections. So that's our mission. Um, so year round, if people cannot make it today, kids, busy, work, they can check our website, volunteerfortwayne.org. Okay, and what if they're going to come? Do they need to bring anything? Do they have to commit to anything today? They don't need to bring anything other than just themselves, a good attitude, an open heart, and just come and be willing to learn and listen to these representatives. The event every year continues to grow. It's a fun time. People learn. They share about their community. And usually individuals live with two or three places that they want to explore further. They don't have to make any commitments today. We're not going to put them to work today or to volunteer today. It's just about learning and find your place in the community where you can get back. Awesome. Thanks so much. Definitely a good way to connect with your community. It sounds like there's going to be anything and everything from community harvest to Fort for Fitness. It could be a one day thing or a long term commitment. But like she said, you don't have to commit today. You don't need to bring anything. Just show up at Glenbrook Square from three to six today. Yeah, Jessica, there's really something for everyone. And since the pandemic, a lot of these nonprofits have been struggling to recover and get back on their feet. And volunteers are a big part of that. So, you know, we hope they have a really good turnout. Thank you so much for your live report.